Okay, in this problem we're going to be doing some calculations with uh, three-dimensional vectors. Here we have a disk, right, like that, and we have springs attached to it that are connected up here and another one up here. Now they want us to find the components of this vector, which is from this point B all the way up towards point A. They want us to find its components and they also want us to find the angles that define the force that uh, comes from this point B upwards. Okay, let's get to it. And the first thing that we need to know about this problem, that the tricky thing is that in the book they gave us the axis with the origin right here at point D. Well, that's no good for us because we are calculating from point B. So most uh, what you should do at the first step is redraw the whole thing. Well, not the whole thing, just uh, force B and redraw it in a way where the coordinate uh, system has its origin right here at the tail of uh, this arrow, this vector at point B. So this is my X axis, Z and Y, the origin right here. And now we can start calculating our components and then our angles. Okay, this vector I will be calling T with a subscript of B. It is a tension force and it's right here going to point B. Okay, I'm going to calculate TB and the component Y first. And that would be in my second drawing. You can see TB. And then coming to the y-axis, we're going to come this way, right here. And along the y-axis, this is where my t, b, y will be, right here. Okay, we're going to be calculating with cosine. We're going to use our cosine formula. This one, we're going to solve for... TBY, plug in for TB, our tension, cosine of 30 degrees. We are given that up here it's 30 degrees. So if we move this vertical line to the tail of it, we will know that this angle is also 30. And this one is due to this rule right here. Two parallel lines with a line crossing, these angles are the same. So based on that, we can figure 30 out. Okay, with a plugging in the values, with a calculator, we can get 43.3 uh, pounds for our Y component. Now next, we're going to calculate this FH right here. We're going to take our vector and drop it down into the x and z plane okay and we're just gonna call it fh and then we are doing this so we can use it to calculate its components which will give us the tbz and over here the tbx okay we're gonna be using sine for this this uh, triangle we're gonna use sine and the triangle that we are using is right here the one with TB the FH at the bottom and the line between their two uh, tips the two the tip of the two arrows okay we know this angle right here by calculating it or we can use the sine 30 of this one because FH is the same as up here so we can use sine 30 times TB and plugging in we get a value for 25 pounds. Now we can use this one to find our other components. The next one let's calculate TBX which will be this one right here. Okay again let's just start using the cosine we're gonna know that over here we are given the angle 35 therefore let's use that we can break it up the FH 
and then plug in and we're gonna have a value of 20.5 pound but let's remember when we redraw when we redrew this we can see that the x component is going in the negative x direction so therefore our x component is negative 20.5 pounds now let's take a look at our z component which is right here or on the original right here again we can use the 35 degree but we're gonna use sine plug in using FH and we're gonna have a 14.3 pounds again let's take a look if we look at this one positive Z is downward and negative Z is upward and as we can tell our Z component is going from here towards the negative Z therefore our Z component will be negative 14.3 pounds now for the angles for theta y we were given it's up here 30 so therefore when we redrew it we had this 30 so from our tb to the axis y we have 30 degrees so this is our theta 30 there's no calculation needed now let's find our next two angles for tbx and tbz for tbx we're gonna be using the triangle from tb and the component x which is down here we drew it up here but this is the same thing so we're gonna be using this this and up to here this is our triangle and we are looking for this angle right here but our calculation will give us the angle that goes to the positive side of the x-axis so this will be our theta x we plug in with our negative value and we get 114.2 degrees again it comes to the positive side of the x with the angle that goes to the z-axis from our tb coming down to the positive side of z-axis plug in our values don't forget the negative we're gonna get 106.6 .6 degrees as our result